Today we're taking a trip around Lake Placid, New York in the 1980 Olympic areas and uh, arenas. The village of Lake Placid makes a wonderful place to do Christmas shopping. All sorts of little stores and little places down through the village. steak and seafood, little brew pub. Little outlet mall here for bass, sports shops, uh, Izog, Van Heusen, a lot of little stores that are unique to the Adirondacks. The Upstate Grill, a lot of little restaurants that are really good restaurants. Here is the Olympic Stadium. Let's park right here. Great moments are born from great opportunity. If we played them ten times, they might win nine. But not this game. Not tonight. We got the whole thing if you look at the, the names around the top. Jimmy Craig! I'm sick and tired of hearing about what a great hockey team the Soviets have. Screw them. This is your time. Home of the Miracle on Ice in the 1980 Olympics. School. This is your time. Now go out there and take it. is the, the speed skating oval, which it's not set up yet. Still a little too warm. And way over in the distance, which you can probably just not see, is the 
ski jumps behind the, I don't know what it is, is that the French flag? And behind the oval is the high school, <laughs> Lake Placid High School. The Olympic Jumping Center and Kodiak Sports Park. These are the Olympic ski jumps from the 1980 Olympics. The 125 meter, I think, and the 90 meter ski jumps. Over here we have some practice ski jumps. And below these ski jumps are pools for people to land in water. There's a little ski hill next to it. You can see these ski jumps all through the Adirondacks, from any of the high peaks almost. Yeah, imagine a skier in some skin-tight clothes that just one layer up there in the freezing wind going 30 miles an hour and and it's uh, 10 below zero. <laughs> That's the best conditions and one of the problems with these these ski jumps is the jumps are up in the air so if it's warm it's warm above and below so the snow melts really fast so they can only be out there they can only use these jumps when it's really cold then they can ice them down make some snow on them real fast and use them sometimes they, they don't get used because it was too warm one winter and uh, but they're pretty neat see these things out in the middle of the wilderness just outside of Lake Placid. The Mount Van Hovenberg Recreational Center, the Luge, cross country skiing, uh, skeleton and bobsled, all done here. This is the track, used for all the activities, bobsled, skeleton, luge. This is gonna be really fast, cause they're moving. Did you get that? This is actually going uphill. This is just a track of ice. Artificial refrigeration. They're climbing up. And bros and bros crossing the finish with a 44996 time. Quickland Kudra, stand by. Are you ready? You're ready to watch this now. And this is Whiteface Mountain, the ski mountain for the Olympics. Unfortunately, it's mostly in clouds. Um, we'll have to stop back at another time, but it goes way up there in the air. If you look way over here, there's a gondola ride you can ride way up to the top any time of the year. I could probably sit here for 20 minutes and this would clear just Two miles from here we just went down the road and it's clear and it's may clear or it may stick around the mountain because it's uh the mountain holds on to some weather it's 43 degrees where we are but if you go up the mountain and it's raining but if you go up the mountain just a little less than or a thousand feet everything up there is ice just a little elevation and the temperature drops considerably. There's just a line right across the face of the mountain where the ice starts. Down the road about a half a mile from Whiteface Mountain is this little gem. This is the branch, either the east or the west branch of the Osable River. 
this is a world-class trout stream but usually when I come here there are people here jumping off these rocks and swimming and I don't know if you can see that way out in the water there's a car and somebody built way out in the middle of the river but this is a neat place to have a picnic it's literally right next to the road and it's a beautiful series of waterfalls and swift moving streams and there's usually people all over here I don't know why there isn't today. Could be all the snow. This is one of those places where you wonder why they haven't put up a power station yet. But it's awful nice that they haven't. of the year you can see salmon trout jumping up the waterfalls here plenty of water going over it side of Whiteface Mountain is this little theme park called the North Pole and Santa's Workshop. I believe it is one of the oldest such theme parks in the United States. And it is open this time of year. up the hill here. We're on the Veterans Memorial Highway and you can actually drive to the top, almost to the top, of Whiteface Mountain. And on the top of Whiteface Mountain is a small castle <laughs> where they have a, a little grill and uh, the only thing is you want to make sure your brakes work before you go up it because you got to come down it and it's a, it's a long steep downhill and you want to make sure you have good brakes and a good transmission because for most of the way you should not use your brakes you should shift down and let the engine and transmission keep you going slow. This is the house at the toll booth at Whiteface. Right side of the toll booth here, they do have a little pond they call Lake Stevens after one of the Olympic medal winners. And there's a big picnic area and some hiking trails and stuff. You can actually hike to the top, there's a couple of trails. The Adirondacks can be a dangerous place to drive. And they don't put these signs up just for fun.